Dinosaurs did not live alone. There were also many other animals in the age of the dinosaurs, such as insects, snails, lizards, and rodents. Ceratosaurus was a hunter and it had three small horns on its head. It had one large horn on the top of its nose and a small one on top of each eye. Some dinosaurs had feathers like the Velociraptor. Even though it had feathers, it could not fly. But this is proof that birds evolved from dinosaurs. Spinosaurus was one of the largest carnivores that ever lived. It had a large crest on its back, and paleontologists believe that it was able to live on land and in water like crocodiles. <coughs> Allosaurus was a predatory dinosaur. That means that it hunted other dinosaurs to eat. There were male and female dinosaurs. The females laid eggs, and a small dinosaur hatched out of each one, just like the birds and reptiles of today. Some of the eggs were huge. Put the sequence in order. Put in place the name of each dinosaur. Order from smallest to biggest. Not all dinosaurs were big. Microraptor, for example, was very small. It could not fly, but it could make big jumps by launching itself from a tree. Pterodactylus was a flying reptile, not a dinosaur. It was carnivorous and could even catch fish. Tupendactylus was not a dinosaur, but it lived at the same time as them. It could fly and had a large crest on its head. Anchiornis was a small dinosaur with wings. It looked a lot like the birds of today. Thanks to this dinosaur, paleontologists have been able to show that birds evolved from dinosaurs. Were there aquatic dinosaurs? No, all dinosaurs were land animals. There were also animals that lived in water in the age of the dinosaurs, but they were not dinosaurs. Elasmosaurus was not a dinosaur because dinosaurs did not live in the sea. 
but it was a large creature that lived at the same time as the dinosaurs. It had a very long neck. Clean the fog so the Microraptor can jump from the tree. Put in place the name of each animal. Draw the path that the pterodactylus should follow to catch the fish. Dinosaurs became extinct. That means they aren't living anymore. It's believed that they became extinct when a large meteor hit the Earth. Or perhaps there was another reason. It's difficult to know because it happened so long ago. Triceratops had a very large head with three very long horns. It also had a kind of collar around its neck. Stegosaurus was an armored dinosaur. It had four large spikes on its tail and plates on its back that formed a large ridge. <laughs> Ankylosaurus was an armored dinosaur with lots of spikes along its body. It also had a large club at the end of its tail that it used as a defensive weapon. Diplodocus was one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived. It was very easy to spot because it had a very long neck and tail. Even though it was really big, it only ate plants. Classify the dinosaurs as herbivores or carnivores. sequence in order. Order from smallest to biggest.
Put in place the name of each dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived many millions of years ago. They were extinct long before the first people arrived, so people and dinosaurs never lived together. Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the most famous dinosaurs. It was very big. It ate meat and had enormous teeth. A tooth measuring more than 30 centimeters long has been found. Scary. In some museums, you can see dinosaur skeletons, eggs and footprints, and even representations of what real dinosaurs looked like. Ask your parents or teachers if there's a museum nearby to visit. Fossils are the remains of animals and plants that lived many years ago. Thanks to them, paleontologists can study what dinosaurs were like and how they lived. Earth fossils and become a real paleontologist. impurities from the bones and guess to which dinosaur it belongs. Put the following events in order from most ancient to the most modern. tools does a good paleontologist need? <laughs> 